Since you might have a little bit of extra time on your hands right now, what would you like to fix or improve on your YouTube channel? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're doing that, here's some advice from us. Let's do this. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com Your channel page, the home of your YouTube universe, can often be forgotten and neglected once you start creating content. So it's time to revisit, fix, clean and improve. Make sure your channel trailer or the video that auto plays at the top of the page best reflects what you do on your channel. If you don't have a channel trailer and you're not sure what video to use, pick the one that brings in the most subscribers. Viewers trust you with that content after all, so you might as well use it. Next up, organise your video shelves so that they continue to educate visitors as quickly as possible as to what you do. We have a new to vidIQ shelf that touches on our tools, general YouTube tips and tricks and gaming advice for creators since we know that it's a big portion of our audience. Our next shelf is devoted to our latest uploads so visitors know that we are still creating content and on a very regular basis. Playlists. You've likely chucked some videos in there at some point in the past and then forgotten all about them. Now's the time to package them all up nicely with neat little bows. Consider whether or not you need 98 videos in a playlist because, let's be honest, who's going to start watching a 98 video playlist? Find a playlist that only have one or two videos in them and decide whether you're going to add more videos to it or get rid of a playlist. And write playlist titles as if they were video titles rather than file names. You've got to give a reason for viewers to click on those playlists too. And yeah, you're absolutely right here. I'm calling myself out. These playlists are in a terrible shape. I guess that's what happens when you upload 500 videos in two years. Reread and rewrite your channel about section. Focus as much as possible on the value the viewer will get from your channel. Make sure to drop in a few keywords since your channel can be found through search and do this as a little test. See how many times you write the word you versus how many times you write I or talk about yourself. Remember, this isn't a dating profile. This is for your viewers, subscribers and community. Did you know our thumbnails used to look like this? I'm totally ashamed of myself. Chances are, in the intervening weeks, months and years of video content, you've upped your thumbnail game. Now might be the time to revisit some of your older videos with terrible thumbnails and see if you can make any improvements. Now, just bear this in mind, you do have to be a little strategic about this. There is an effort versus reward ratio that you have to finally balance. Don't just go back to all of your old thumbnails and try to improve them. Look at the videos where you think they're still relevant and they have performed well in the analytics, maybe in watch time or audience retention, but they just haven't got the discoverability you think they deserve. Take a look at the thumbnails, improve them, and the same goes for the titles as well. It's also highly likely that you've leveled up your metadata or search engine optimization skills as well. So take a look at the video descriptions. You can maybe have a look at the tags if you really want to, but again, be selective. Don't try and update everything. Test a couple of videos that you think have a potential to work now, even if you did make them six months, a year, five years ago. Also consider this. Are you using these things over here, your info cards, and end screens effectively on your most popular videos. You may have launched a video a year ago and it didn't do very well for a couple of months and then all of a sudden it took off, turned into evergreen content, which is brilliant. But what you might have forgotten to do is go back to that video and say, ha, huh, this video is getting a lot of views. Maybe I could funnel those viewers into more recent content by using more appropriate info cards and end screens. Go check them out. Now, personally speaking, I always think it's much more difficult to relight the fire in a existing video on YouTube, and I'm always more forward thinking and creating new content. So what you can do is create new content from your old content. A couple of years ago, we made a video on how to get 1,000 subscribers, and it did pretty well, 140,000 views. But since then, the landscape has changed, and I, personally speaking, feel I am a better educator and creator. So we remade this video with new advice, better filmmaking techniques, and improved SEO, and now, this new video, made just a month ago, sits at the top of the search rankings with nearly 100,000 views in just a single month. We did the same thing in the gaming topic too. I made a video a while ago about how to start a gaming channel on YouTube, which now has over 800,000 views. Then Dan, our gaming expert, came along and he said, I can do a better job than that. And I said, yeah, well go on then. 
and he did and it's at the top of the search rankings and will likely get a million views this year really hate when that happens. Welcome back by the way, I'm Rob. Welcome to vidIQ, the YouTube tool, channel and academy that educates you on your YouTube journey. And if you want more YouTube tips, tricks and advice just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and do this so that you're the first to be notified when we release a brand new content. I'll stop gloating Dan. So at the time of recording we are deep into the coronavirus COVID-19 crisis where there are many people stuck at home and they are turning to YouTube for entertainment, education, and in some cases, communication. And that's where you as creators can step in. Now, I know as much as all of you that content takes a long time to create. For me, it takes days. For others, it takes weeks. For animators, it can take months. But there are ways you as a creator can create rapid fire content that directly communicates with your audience every single day. One of the best ways to do this is through live streams. If you've built up a community, you can invite all of those people who are stuck at home right now to join you in live streams, perhaps even have open conversations with them. Now, compared to the number of subscribers you get and the number of views you get on your videos, you might not find that many people joining your live stream, but I guarantee it. We know this because we do channel audits every single week. Those hardcore committed followers of your channel will come to your live streams and they will stay for hours. And this is not necessarily for you to gain watch time out of them. It's for you to give value to them, whether it's through questions and answers, education, entertaining them. There are a lot of people doing this right now. There are yoga instructors, musicians, fitness coaches who now can't go to their clients or go to uh, their place of work. And they're turning to YouTube to do that. And that's what you can do as well. As well as live streams, if you have enough subscribers, you'll also have access to some other cool tools that allow you to keep in touch with your community on a regular basis. The community tab is your YouTube social feed, which you can post pictures, gifts and voting polls from. You can tease video footage, go behind the scenes, or in our case, chart the journey towards 500,000 subscribers. Voting polls in particular are a good source of engagement. Everyone loves to cast their ballot, even if it is to decide the name of a vidIQ tool. There's also a cool extra bonus with community posts. They reach beyond your subscribers. And if you want to know more about how that happens, watch this video over here. It is scary but fascinating at the same time. The next communication tool, if you're fortunate enough to have it, is YouTube Stories. YouTube Stories are essentially Instagram Stories or TikTok. 15 second video clips that you record vertically, you don't create a thumbnail or a title, you simply push them to your YouTube channel and people can watch them through the mobile YouTube app. Now how we've been using YouTube Stories is to do Q&A, so I'll post a clip saying if you've got any questions about your channel, vidIQ or YouTube, post them in the comments and I will respond with a YouTube story. And they are proven to be very successful and they are gaining us subscribers as well. For a tutorial on how to use that, check out the video over here. Another way to communicate is to collaborate. Here I am making a cameo appearance on Dottotech to share my thoughts about working from home. Steve Dotto and I helped run a YouTube meetup in Vancouver, so it felt like the natural fit to help him out. It also exposes me to a brand new audience of potentially a quarter of a million subscribers. Of course, not everything needs to be directly associated with your channel. You have time and you can invest it in your personal development. For example, you could learn how to use some new equipment, such as a camera or a microphone, to up your production values. You could go onto YouTube and find out how to better present in front of camera, build your charisma. You could, if you really want to, go through all of vidIQ's videos and learn more about how to grow your channel, or better yet, start one of our academy courses. We have a 30 day, 32 video course about how to start your YouTube channel that's even useful for seasoned pros. Right now, and unavoidably so, economies across the globe are in total chaos. And as a result, people's lives and the way they work are going to fundamentally change. In this current landscape, YouTube provides many of these people with an opportunity because there are almost no barriers to entry. A lot of people have a lot of skills and at the moment they can't get paid for them. But what they can do is take those skills onto YouTube and create opportunities of their own. If you haven't started your own YouTube channel yet, or you've already been on YouTube for a period of time and you're not doing anything right now, you may miss out. 
YouTube was already a competitive space coming into 2020. It ain't gonna get any less crowded anytime soon. And another thing you might wanna do is create an ideas board. A lot of creators really do struggle with video ideas in the moment. With the time that you have right now, you have the opportunity to build out six months, even potentially a year's worth of content. If you do wanna learn more about generating YouTube ideas, we have a video over here. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Stay home, be safe, be healthy, and create responsibly.